What's going on, man? It's me, it's me, it's down to the T coming at you again with another video. And uh, yeah, let's just get right back into it, man. And uh, let's just talk about what's been going on lately, man. What's been happening around uh, Morgantown, man? What's been happening around uh, West Virginia football? Well, first and foremost, all right, just to sort of get it out the way, we all know the whole coaching fiasco situation. We got to talk about it, you know, because it is what it is, man. And uh, obviously, you know, a very, very awkward situation, very unfortunate situation. I'm sitting up here. I'm looking crazy because in my past videos, I'm sitting up here talking, you know, I'm being super optimistic saying, man, look, coaching transitions, man, it might not work at it other colleges but it will at West Virginia because we got Bill Stewart is the nicest guy in the world and uh, he'll do everything in his power to make sure the transition from him over to Hoverson is going to be smooth well obviously you know I was sipping on the Kool-Aid I was you know I wasn't wearing the shades I don't like to wear shades and uh, I was being a little too optimistic and thinking about the future and I didn't sit down I didn't jump outside the box and I didn't say, wait a minute, man. It's, it's as clear as day. Obviously, coaching waiting situations, you know, dime a dozen, will they ever, will there be a time will it ever works? And uh, for the most part, you know, they've been rough, those type of situations. And uh, West Virginia, yet again, you know, showing that, hey, if you, if you have a coach, you, you know, in your mind, uh, who who wants to take over? Get it done. Don't sit down here. Don't play games. You know, get it done. And that was, you know, obviously, you know, Bill Stewart was going to, you know, act the way he did. You know, I mean, hey, I'd probably do the same thing, too. I mean, my boss, you know, he's got this guy coming in and he expects me to be extra nice and, and telling me that I'm going to be cut. Man, look, man, let's just move past that. Uh, all I got to say about that situation is, uh, you know, good luck, Bill Stewart. You know, with whatever it is that you're doing down the line, you know, do what you got to do. Good luck. It was unfortunate. Hey, man, it's the way it is, man. I can't control it. We can't control it. You feel me? It, it, hey, it happened. And uh, let's just give a warm welcome to the new head coach, Dana Hoverson. Welcome aboard, as if we didn't know you before, you know. Uh, the process has been sped up. You're now the head coach. And now people are saying, man, this guy has no head coaching experience. How did he, how does West Virginia, how did these, how does West Virginia fans just assume that he's going to win big games and win championships? Man, kill that noise, man. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn. And enjoy the ride. We'll see when all that comes, man. But right now, Dana Hoverson is a coach, man. I mean, you go from Bill Stewart, you know, a nice fatherly figure, to, you know, a much more younger Dana Hoverson, who's, you know, pretty young in coaching in coaching years, pretty young. Um, I know a lot of, you know, the players related to Bill Stewart because, you know, he really show genuine interest and genuine care and love for the players. He was like, you know, a father to them. But on the other hand, you got Dana Hoverson, who's, you know, young, energetic, excitement. I mean, when he became the head coach, I mean, all of a sudden, all you see him doing is, you know, you see him jumping out of an airplane, skydiving. I'm sitting down here, I'm fearing for his life. Like, man, dang, please, Coach Hoverson, man, just make it, make it to the season, man. But I mean, if I'm a, if I'm a young you know high school player, and, and I see a coach like you know Dana Hoverson just doing all these wild antics and you know being energetic and you know fun loving and, and and you know things of that nature, why wouldn't I want to you know come aboard and play for the man? And uh, I don't know. Obviously, it has to be working because you know recently West Virginia's. Uh, recruiting game has been stepped up and we're just getting people out the wazoo just picking picking up verbal commitments left and right man it's so many people it's like it's like every day 
I log on to the to the computer and and there's a story about oh West Virginia just landed their next commitment you know so it's like man wow I'm glad Dana Hogerson is a coach hey sorry Bill Stewart lovers man it is what it is man it's a sign of the times man it is what it is Dana Hogerson is the head coach he's got his people's people's you know on the offensive side of the ball and you know Jeff Castillo on the defensive guys Man, come on, how could you not be excited, man? How could you not be excited? The fireworks that, that this offense is capable of producing and the numbers and man, it's about to we about to go back to touchdown city. It's, it's about to be it's the return of the touch of touchdown city, baby. Back to when Morgantown was rocking, back to when Morgantown was popping, couches was burning. It's back to that, man. With Dana Hogerson in, come on, man. I know y'all probably saying I'm being too optimistic, but man, come on. How can you not, you know, think the way I'm thinking right now? But yeah, man, picking up com com uh, verbal commitments. Uh, I don't know who we just pick up. A uh, wide receiver by the name of, uh, what's his name? Deontay McManus or McManus. Who else, man? I don't even really, I don't really know, man. I just I know we just picked up a whole bunch of recruits, man. Uh, I'm excited, like I said before, and uh, oh yeah, um, Andrew Bowie looks like he qualified. He qualified. He's he's on campus right now, and um, you know we still some the freshmen still coming in, so um, that should be a very very interesting battle at the running back position to watch, man. Bowie. Garrison, Bernard Roberts, then you got all them other boys, man. Trey Johnson, Sean Austin, Ryan Clark, man. The list goes on and on. Ryan Nalen, you know, is a starting wide receiver. Who would ever thought, you know, Ryan Nalen was going to be the starting wide receiver? Um, what else is going on, man? I mean, that's that's about it. That's all I could think of, man. Um, just our recruiting game is looking oh so nice right now. And we, we in the midst of uh, summer workouts and uh, players training and whatnot. Mike Joseph stepping it up. Man, you know what? I would like to try out Law School Hill, man. Mike Joseph is killing these boys with this, with this Law School Hill thing, man. Um, I'm hearing that people losing their lunch, their breakfast, everything running up and down that thing, man. But, uh, yeah. We in the process, man. We grinding. We working hard, man. Mm. That's all we gonna see this season, man. Ah. So, yeah, man. To wrap it up, you know, welcome Dana Hogson. He's a coach. Sorry, Bill Stewart. It is what it is. Time to move on. Move on. Let's go, Mountaineers. Move on. He's a head coach. Y'all can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. Okay, go ahead, complain. When it all comes down to it, we got to play football, right? That's all I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. Uh, commitments all over the place. We're looking, we're looking really nice for the future right now. So, uh, peace out, man. And, uh, yeah, have a, good, have a good day or night, wherever you're at, whatever time zone. I'm in the zone, auto zone. That doesn't make any sense. Peace, man.